Okay, let's have a look around this uh, N registration. Um, Land Rover Defender 90, 300 TDI. Um, fitted from the factory with a county pack, so that's metallic paint, uh, cloth interior, sunroof, full headlining, uh, clock and stuff like that. Yep, it's got full headlining in there. Um, that doesn't mean it's a county station wagon though, because um, it isn't. It is a county uh, county pack hardtop with windows. Um, big, big spec on this one. It's got the lot. Um, it's got pretty big lift kit. Looks like at least two inches on it uh, with the appropriate sort of yellow heavy duty springs and shocks on it by the look of it. Um, it's got a matching set of four very um, tough looking proper mud terrain tyres. Size wise they're 235 85 R16s. I would think they must be on spacers actually if they're, they're really quite, um, quite wide and fill the arches quite well. Um, on black modular rims. Uh, it's got rock sliders on it. It's got full roof rack, obviously sunroof as we talked about being the county spec. It's got checker plate on the rear quarters, wing tops and uh, bonnet centre. It's got a snorkel, full roof rack we've talked about. Um, around the front end it's got a big old super winch um, EPI 9, um, winch with remote controls and everything. Um, on a winch bumper, also got proper underbody protection, we've certainly got a steering guard under there and what looks like a front diff guard, let's see if we've got a rear diff guard as well and maybe a tank guard as well Let's have a look. yeah rear diff guard too can't see a tank guard though um, wading screen there as well that's the wading screen in the back that's the the top part of the wading screen uh, that's about it externally. I think inside, obviously, proper county cloth seats in the front, um, centre cubby box. It's got a radio CD with iPod capability. It's got a dog guard in it. And then uh, walking around the tail end, we've got a, uh, I think it's a single box exhaust. Certainly slightly louder than standard. Uh, adjustable tow pack. The ball and everything is inside the car. This needs to be done with a key. Um, and in the back here, ignore my bag, that doesn't come with it, but apart from that you've got uh, twin, um, twin rear bench seats in the back, uh, obviously the full headlining and some netting up here, that's the wading cover in the top there, um, and a high lift jack uh, that all comes with it, so everything's in there apart from my bag. Um, right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Paint looks to be largely original on it, in fact pretty much original. Um, there is some electrolytic reaction and it has been used for some off-roading and green laning, so there are a few little battle scars on it here and there. But uh, from around the front end, it all looks pretty nice around there. Bonnet all looks pretty good. There's a few stone chips and stuff around the front here, as uh, you'd probably expect. Um, looking down the side of the near side, it all looks pretty straight. The near side front wing is dent free, apart from a tiny little depression just there, which hasn't broken the paint. Um, near side arch is a bit scuffed just up around here uh, and it's, uh, it's a bit more scuffing there and it's lost a little bit of its uh, at the back of the plastic arch just there. Um, up here on the near side scuttle all looks good along there. It is just starting to bubble up a bit under here. May have had a bit of paint just there at some point in the past. I think it may have done. It's hard to tell. Not quite sure what that is. Um, which it looks like it may have been, I don't know, someone's done a bit of work to that I think one way or the other. I think you find if you poke that hard enough you may find a hole but um, nothing too drastic there. Roof all looks good. Um, near side door, some electricity reaction around the bottom hinge and along the bottom of the door as always. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's a couple of slight scratches on the, um, oh, deep scratches on the near side door. Inside here for an off-road it's actually in pretty good shape actually the uh, the seats are in seats are unripped and stuff actually there is a very slight nick in the base of the drive of the passenger seat cushion but it's quite a small to spot hard to spot dash is fine uh, passenger footwell all looks to be pretty good under there um, near side door frame actually feels pretty good actually bit of surface rust on it but no more than that and it still shuts well uh, near side rear wing is all good, 
the near side rear um, eyebrow again has lost a fair bit of paint around the front edge of the um, the eyebrow here a lot of paint cracking on the top of the eyebrow and a bit of scuffing around here um, some electrolytes reaction on the rear corner piece um, around the tail end there's quite a bit of electrolytes reaction up here and on the bottom of the tailgate and stuff looks like possibly the cross member has had some work at both corners um, and possibly a bit in the middle as well might have had some welding done oh, I can't open that up again now can I because I need the key uh, we've seen in the back actually actually let's open it up just need two hands Um, in the back here, it's all really as it should be. Uh, slightly grubby passenger um, rear seat on there. In fact, both passenger cushions are a little bit grubby, but otherwise it's all uh, as you'd expect. Tailgate, it's very good indeed. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, looking down the offside, apart from a very slightly dent, dent in the barrel side on the driver's door and a slight dent in the driver's front wing, looks pretty straight uh, again eyebrows are uh, a bit scuffed on the rear, on the edges in fact what would make this really good is a new set of eyebrows which uh, I've probably got to set some well they will be black ones you know if you want them there um, some electricity reaction on the uh, uh, on the offside rear wing around there and down there uh, van side is all good driver's door there's a, say, a couple of slight dinks and donks just here in the barrel side that have broken the panes a little bit but otherwise, the driver's door doesn't look too bad. Offside front wing is a very, very slight depression just here around the side light and just here. Hasn't really dented it too badly. It hasn't broken the paint. Might be able to push it out, but it's just dented it slightly around the side light there, but not around the front here. That's all pretty good. But again, the, um, the near side front, uh, oh, sorry, the offside front um, eyebrow is quite badly scuffed along the edges of it and a couple of very deep scratches in the back there. Uh, inside, on the driver's side, again, driver's seat isn't too bad. It has, the, the cushion has lost a bit of its shape and the, the vinyl down there has a, got a bit of a tear in it. Um, perhaps a new cushion wouldn't go amiss. Um, but the footwell here looks okay. A bit wet in there, actually. It's, it's just been fairly recently jet washed, but um, that's what they're for, really. Uh, but the... Driver's door all feels nice under there. And that all looks pretty good up in the corners and stuff. Yeah. Uh, scuffle corner on the offside looks very good indeed. Nothing really wrong with that at all. Um, that's about it, I think. It's uh, I've just done 120 miles and it drives absolutely superbly. Uh, that's about it. I think my name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can ship it anywhere like in the world. Um, certainly delivery to the UK and Europe is no problem at all. End.